welcome back to learning as we play Crusader Kings 3 here in Georgia. Not the American one, but the, well, the, the Eurasian one. Um, right, I haven't played in a while, as you might have noticed, and the whole grand tournament thing, tours and tournaments, is new to me. I haven't looked at it yet. This is going to be our first look together, and the activity just pops up. This is an old save file of an older version, so there's a chance this might crash. If it does, we'll have to start a new game. But that's fine. Always something to learn. So, the activity is available to us. And uh, let's check it out. Okay. <laughs> Alright, a grand activity is very expensive. A grand wedding is very expensive. A grand tournament is very expensive. A grand tour is very expensive. Fine. We don't have that kind of money. We do have some money for a hunt, for a pilgrimage, or a feast, which used to be just a regular activity before. So if we looked in... Oh, okay, no, they, they revamped the whole activity thing. All right, okay, I understand now. They revamped the whole activity thing. So in the decisions, this is where it used to be. Um, we could build basically... We could click on these and, and have it done there. All right. First thing, that's new. I appreciate this. This is fine. Now, looking at ourselves, we're not super stressed or anything. Like, we don't need to do any of these. However, and I'm thinking out loud here, I want to check this out. <laughs> so, we're going to spend the money, uh, which I probably put aside for something else. And let's check out Holster Hunt. The chase provides thrills and dangers in abundance and serves to provide a firm grounding in riding and archery. Hunts are often uh, overseen by the master of the hunt who will announce sightings of beasts common, rare and fierce. So anticipated rewards, we might gain glory hound. All right. Glory hound vassals care about the standing and prestige showing the world the strength. Okay. All right, we gain my, might gain trophy artifacts. That's great. Prestige, stress, the hunter trait eventually. Oh, oh, it's tiered. That's very cool. So you can be a falconer, or I've played, I have played Age of Wonders for too long. Uh, I forgot that I had set this to click a button to fix this. So, all right, so so we got uh, several options: venerator, uh, no, venator. And falconer, venator appearing to be a word for if you hunt venison, so stags and deer and all that kind of stuff. All right, okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So this one is more the martial route if you want to go, and this one is more of a stewardship learning route. All right, interesting. Uh, participating acclaimed knights may gain glory. Glory seems to be a new thing as well. So glory is gained by acclaimed knights, winning battles, defeating warriors, competing in grand tournaments, contests. However, the accolade's glory is lowered when the acclaimed knight is involved in losing battles. On accolade succession, and when the accolade becomes an inactive accolade. Not sure what all this is. We could, of course, uh, take a little look here. So what is Accolade Succession? When accolade dies and becomes... Uh, the Acclaimed Knight is replaced by the successor who must be eligible for the primary Accolade attribute. The secondary attribute can be changed at the loss of... glory. Okay, we'll have to check all this out. So uh, let us go and plan a hunt. So requires a legendary sighting, which we haven't had in our realm yet. So... We can go uh, falconry or we can go hunt. Uh, higher apparel grants more prestige. I'm thinking uh, we go the falconry route. Oh, okay, so now we choose where we want to go hunt. And I'm thinking we go hunt in Gunja. Or not, because, okay, apparently the less... The less developed, the better of a place to hunt. All right, so this has plus plus mountains, which is ideal for falconry. It even highlights in in the color, 
that you want. This has two hill pluses, one from terrain, one from cultural traditions. So I'm thinking we're going to go to uh, Ganza. All right, now we... Okay, so this is also new. Uh, now we basically get a look at our character actually moving throughout the world. This wasn't a thing before. Um, and we have to set up certain elements uh, going on in here. Advice. Advice. Eh. Okay, well, what advice do you have? We're about to travel away from your current location, but before you travel, you should plan. Okay. So, we can have... Several people in our entourage. There are two main factors to consider when planning your travel speed and safety. The base speed is 100%. Safety counteracts any danger. Okay, interesting. You can appoint a caravan master, a special court position, who will join you in all your travels. They have a large impact on your speed and safety. Okay. You can also choose blah, 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 them. And I'm barely comprehending what I'm reading. I, I hate these kinds of tutorials. That's why I'm making these videos, because you just read and read and read, and uh, it doesn't make any sense. So let's just figure it out. So we have four in our entourage who joined because of an activity option. All right, so these people are traveling with us. Uh, we have our daughter, our wife, our knight, and another knight of ours. Right. So the caravan master... Uh, we can select by aptitude. And they're all kind of terrible, except for uh, Ketevan, who is a courtier of ours, who is poor. But that's better than terrible. So we'll appoint him. There's a warning there. If you choose to revoke this position later, it will cost us... No, that's fine. He can be our caravan master for now. Uh, now, travel options. High experienced. Uh, hire a jungle stalker. Hire a forest guide. Um, a mountaineer. Is this for hills? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll want a mountaineer with us. Because we're going into the mountains. Into the hills. So... We don't need captains, we're not... Are we traveling across a river? Yes, we're traveling across a river. But it, this is sea and coastal sea danger, so that doesn't really matter. Speed and safety goes up with mercenary guards, but they're expensive. Uh, I don't think we need any of these. Cultural ambassador... No, I think, I'm thinking we're fine here. I, I don't need to have this. Um, Remaining dangers on route zero zero zero. Select the waypoints. Okay, we, we could we could basically uh, change where we want to go. So destination, departure, destination, and we could go further. Basically, I'm I'm thinking. So we could add another destination. We could we could walk through here. This would increase our chance of danger, but it would increase the popular opinion as well. As we travel through the land here. But it also decreases other things. So Okay, let's just let's just stick with, with what we got here. And now let's see. Intent. Are we here for recreation, murder, seduction, or friendship? Well, stress is nice, but let's see if we can't befriend someone. A vassal and knight. Someone who hasn't the highest opinion of us. Our wife, duchess, and soulmate. Let, let's go with our knight here. Maybe we can we can make friends with him. And search parties. A reasonable party activity. What, what, what happens here? Increase the success chance somewhat. Flushing gang. So these run out and try to... Get the animals out of the hiding spots. Uh, local gamekeepers. Yeah, that's fine. Some local gamekeepers are going to be fine. More prestige upon com completion. Smaller party. Unlanded nines. And lazy or martial. Okay. 
And this is just everyone comes with us. But I, I'm thinking a regular party size. That's that's fine. Okay, so we start our hunt. And now we have a future regent option. That is also new with the last update and the DLC that was released. In the future, we might become unable to govern our realm. That's when a regency starts. Before this happens, we can see our future region and even designate one ourselves. Alright. Uh, open the realm view. We can do that. Region presumptive Count Taniel. Not sharing power. Alright. So our regent is our half-brother, chancellor, and vassal. Oh god, there's so much information right there. Tip them towards you via interaction such as the Diarch, fulfill your mandate. Or as the Diarch, fulfill your mandate. Okay. So, promote authority. Is this something I can select? Um, unless you designate one, the candidate with the highest Regency succession score will be picked. You can designate a Regent using that button. You should try and find a Regent that has a high loyalty and a high aptitude, which if this is auto-selected, I'm thinking is a good option then. Uh, these are, if your current Regent dies, these are basically the succession for the Regent. Um, and some of these are very selfless, others are situational or, okay, interesting. For now, consider designating a region if you want more control over who rules. Okay, so... Uh, um, I want it sorted by aptitude. Okay, so he's, he's very good. He's very selfless. And we get a stress loss of 10%. Could put in our granddaughter. Wait, 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 wait. This is sorted by aptitude. Why is this... Oh, this is not the aptitude. The aptitude is here. There. Excellent. Okay, so this guy is only good. It's not great. Mayor Vahan of Barda. Should he be... Our... I mean... Yeah... Aptitude, excellent. That That is good. Fill coffers, swell armies, promote authority. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So aptitude isn't always the same. They are going to go for several elements available to them. So it might fill your coffers, swell the armies, or promote authority. This guy is not going to do much for the money, but a lot for the army. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with him. And uh, we'll designate him. Alright, I understand. We did that. Now what else do we have here? What is this? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. We can give them a mandate. And their aptitude decides whether or not they're good in that mandate. That correct? So he's not good at fill coffer, so our mandate will be swell the armies. I click this now. <clears throat> so maybe maybe that works. Okay, we're not sharing power. Power sharing occurs when a ruler shares some authority with one of their vassals or courtiers, who becomes their diarch. The ruler who shares their power may set mandates for their diarch, while the diarch may use special borrowed powers. Scales of power measure whether the ruler or the diarch has the most authority. Wait, so... Okay, I clicked this. I can't unclick it. Alright. That's his mandate. We'll see if power sharing just kind of grows. Alrighty. Then, let us unpause. Oh, wait, what is this down there? Uh, we're, we're learning a language from the Khan. Alright, uh, I will be hunting in Ganzazar, and time has come for us to depart. I look forward to spending time outdoors. Oh, we have a little 
our little boy here. Uh, my bird skill will show the others just how to maintain a Mew. What is a Mew? Alright, I can't wait. Next destination is in seven days. So we're just now walking across this map here, as you can see. As we wait for the arrival of the rest of our guests, my servants can get started on the preparations. The gamekeepers check the grasslands each day for signs of quarry while establishing camp closer to the hunting grounds. My bird grows restless, waiting, knowing it will soon be unleashed. Ilya remains totally unaware of my plan to befriend him. He has no idea I'm going to be really nice to him. He'll be so surprised. Okay, soon. That's very ominous. Uh, things are happening now. Things happened, and I'm not entirely sure. We have a success chance here, which isn't very high. So, let's see. Mount is about to begin, and I'm yet to name a master of the hunt. I could, of course, take such responsibilities ourselves, but every good prince should know when to delegate. By far the most qualified man for the job is Count Taniel of Hereti, and he seems eager to prove himself. My marshal, Mayor Vahan, seems ardently set on the position, though he is not quite as apt as Taniel. But I am forced to appoint one after all. So he's our regent. And I would like our regent to possibly be our friend. 50% chance of he becoming our friend. Man, that's great. So let's take Vahan. And... Oh god. Okay, I have to pause. So are you our friend now? Uh, okay, he, he, he went away. Uh, where, where is he? There he is. Are you our friend? Plus one. There's one more thing that he is to us. Can I click this without breaking it? No, he, we're, we're not friends. But that's okay. Alright, so what's happening here? We have, we have these stages. We're in the planning. Now we're in the hunt stage. So, this is us over there. And everyone else is just a hunter. And they look very passionate about this activity. Like, all of these look like this is exactly what they ever always wanted to do. He's fantasizing about I don't even want to guess at that 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 is just really weird um, our wife is um, yeah appropriately amused about the hunt mayor Vahan is actually the only one who's actually really into this I'm just longing looking at mayor Vahan and our guy Ilya just well he's trying his best he, He's he's pretending. Okay. Hunt things have happened. Ilya assembles a party as the sun rises over the camp and the highlands near the Gandazar. With any luck, we'll find a wedge of geese and our falcons will have great sport. The few beaters we have brought are ready to ready with their dogs and have already found a suitable route. You will seek to hawk a goose. You will seek to hawk a quail. You will seek to hawk a hare. Uh, I, I'm thinking... Let's go. Let's go out there. Let's get some geese. Oh. Okay, so... <laughs> the count insulted the other guy. So that's not ideal. A moment to talk. We are a little bit out of breath, but we'll, we'll use what little breath we have to talk. Waiting for a word from the scent hounds. The party rests in a shaded copse. Copse? Man, all these new words here. That's amazing. Ilya stands not far off. This is my chance to impress him. Ilya, how are you? It's not often we get a chance to talk. I open informally. You seem surprised, but not hostile to my conversation. That's, that's generally how you, you know, want to kind of go. There's nothing better than a good hunt. I pity the poor animals at times. Okay. Appeals to his diligent, to his active, to his compassionate. So we would know, so we would need to know something about him. He's gluttonous, stubborn, craven. Okay. What would. Uh, diligence. I don't think he's very compassionate. So uh, let's. I would rather be doing something useful, of course. Let, let's go with that. Maybe that's what he feels like as well. 
may have Vahan found poetic inspiration, Ilya seems to have much in common with us, bemoaning the need to entertain the court with trivialities. When we move, we can hardly be separated. I knew I would find the right words to win him over. Well, I think I won him over. A falcon seems to be getting quite agitated on my wrist, tapping and pecking restlessly at me. No doubt the beast is eager to take to the skies and again bring me back a fresh kill. It would be good for the bird to stretch its wings, but I haven't yet spied a trace of anything worth hunting. So it is likely my falcon would return empty talent. So let's uh, let's focus on tracking. Poor bird needs to wait a little bit longer. Okay. Uh, Mayor Vahan signals the party to hush. We have arrived at the release spot set out by the Game Masters. There's a clear sight line on a wedge of white geese watering themselves and pond up ahead. The beaters will soon be in position, ready to spook the game to flight. The party halts as we prepare to remove our birds' hoods and set them one by one to their spot. Now let us let him fly through. Someone hunted a ferret. All right. Um, as Mayor Grigor and I pad on foot over some troublesome ground, I almost jump out of my skin at the sound of the almighty yelp. Turn to see my vassal's foot trapped in the mouth of a bear trap poking menacing through the briar. He howls in pain. Ah, these damned commoners! Why can't they hunt like real men? I must press on or we'll lose the goose. <laughs> Look at that, boys! My god! No! My men will take you back. Like, I don't even have to- I don't even have to stand around, I'm just sending my men. We are greedy, so... Look, look at that facial expression. That's exactly how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> That's fantastic! Oh! 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 Okay, let's check us out. We're aggressive attacker uh, strike. Okay, I'm sorry, but we are <sighs> Okay. I'm trying to RP this. Humble, cynical. Okay, this okay, let's let's walk this through on our traits. We are a flexible leader, so we could go either way. We are an aggressive attacker, so we're on the attack right now. We are strategist. Us waiting for him doesn't really help. Uh we're a tough soldier, so suck it up, my boy. We're cynical. Like like, what is, what, what's it going to do if, if I stick around, right? I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to touch that. I'm humble. So, yeah, I'm, that doesn't really play into this. I'm greedy. So, I think this is the whole... Oh, no. Anyways, meme. So, let's, let's do that. Oh, we found raptor eggs. Ten gold for us. I watch excitedly as my falcon identifies the target and takes wing from its watch, soaring high into the air. Beaters have scattered the honking brown geese who now fill their air with their flapping clamor. Time and again my falcon swoops in for a kill but misses, retreats, only grazes its target. Oh no. After hours of attempts and the game have all but disappeared, the falcon is near exhausted and the light is fading. Aww. The hunt fails. There's always next time. All right, we could switch what our intent is now. Um, don't look so disapprovingly at us. How dare you? Everything that could go wrong seemed to do so, but there were silver linings to be found. I'm no closer to gaining the confidence of Ilya, but I must be doing something wrong. Master of the Hunt, Mayor of Ahan, gathers the disappointed party and exhausts the towns for the trip home. The goose indeed eluded us this time. Let us head home. So we get some hunter experience, uh, which just popped up above. We get the trade hunter, uh, which, you know, doesn't do a lot for the moment, but it does some. Uh, we get some prestige, which is always nice. Uh, we fail to bond with this man, but okay, well, what, what can you do? And everyone participating gets a bunch of prestige as well. Alrighty. So let's finish our hunt. Wasn't a good hunt, but you know, we tried. What is this? 
Away from capital. Okay, that's just our overall uh, progress of the travel. Interesting. We have arrived again. There's nothing better than arriving back in Iran after a long journey. I look forward to resting for some time, but the call of the road beckons ever onward. My current master, Ketevan, reports that we have journeyed for 77 days and traversed three baronies. Thank God I can go inside again. That's basically how I feel most of my life. Alright, so there's new options here, but we are we're just too poor for any of it. Interestingly enough, we, we recouped a bunch of money while we were out already. So let us turn our eye back to the world around us. A faction has been uh, disbanded. Our marshal here earns some respect, which is nice. So let's check out the world around us. Uh, last time we played, we were a little bit stuck here between a rock and a hard place because all the Muslim empires around here, the kingdom is obviously uh, banned together against us. The Kaganade uh, took one of our counties up there. Georgia is just kind of sitting there being menacing and large. And we're having trouble to find new marks to expand our land. Uh, so, yeah. It's all a bit iffy. We could Oh, they have new icons here. Interesting. Oh, I like that. So we could try a holy war for the Ustachi. However, other Ashari rulers might join. And let me tell you, there's a bunch of them. Right now, on paper, on paper, we're, we're way better than them. Uh, even with his allies, because these are... What is this? This is a duchy and a barony, so that's not a lot. And this guy is actually contributing most of it. So we could try and kill those allies off, but let's check the religious uh, view first. So, yeah. Yeah, yes. <laughs> we could try for the Zaidi. Uh, that, that's something we... Oh! This is new. I'm thinking this is new, but I don't look in the religious view all that often, so I don't know. These are the holy sites. And only one of our holy sites is actually controlled by us. And we still have an orthodox holdout here in our run. Are we orthodox? I don't remember. Uh, hello, Mr. Religious Information. Uh, we are, no, apostolic. Guess we need to set our boy on that. Dear Council, you there. Are you doing this? No. Uh, let's go and convert out here, please. Thank you. I can't be. So we could go and try for the Zaidi here over there. You know, Holy War for that duchy. And other Zaidi... Might come to their help. Now, I don't know. I don't know how many there are. So, let's have a quick look if we can't find more. It doesn't look like it. It, it looks like they are their own thing. But, we'll, we would surround ourselves with even more Muslims. But, you know, it might be worth it. That's that's a good chunk we can get out there. And I don't see anyone who might be interested in getting to them, right? And we wouldn't run the danger of creating a new kingdom that, that would be created upon succession. So, let's see. How old are we? 60. We, we will see this through for sure. Um... Yeah, I'm thinking that, that that is a good idea. We would have to cross through a little bit of uh, unfriendly terrain. Let's move our flag, our rally flag, over to here. So we get close. And we'll just try this. Do, do, we, do we have enough of everything? We have the piety. Yeah. Yeah, we have more men than them, us alone, so we don't even need to get any of our allies involved. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll try. Oh, 
Our armies are raised, and on we travel. We are leading ourselves. I think he can stay humble. He's such a good boy. He needs to stay a good boy. All right, betrothed can marry. Uh, we'll just do that because I don't fully remember who and why and what. Mainly for alliances sex, I'm pretty sure. So we are leading our own armies in this attempt to take our enemy. They are not engaging with us yet. And so far, no one has joined on their side. So uh, we're not sieging anything, I just realized. So... Advantage in this location. What does that mean? Okay, now at least we're sieging something. For another three months. Obviously, I could go fight them directly first. We're losing a little bit. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, th that's a lot of stuff here. I like that they added icons. That is a great change. That is really, really good. Okay, we can add, uh, ask our, our boy here for some money. It costs us 250 piety, of which we have enough. He'll like us a little bit less. And also every zealot vassal, of which we have two, will like us a little bit less. But, you know, money. We're greedy. That's what we do. We can station a man-at-arms regiment. What does that mean? Oh my god, the, the the frame rate on this is amazing. Um, these are unstationed boys. That's not good, we want them stationed, I'm assuming. By stationing regiments, you make them more powerful and better at fighting, which can be vital in winning battles. You'd think, you'd think. Click on one of your men-at-arms, so we'll click on our, on our pike boys here, of which we have the most. And we'll station them in, in, in a holding. Regiment is raised. Okay, so we... Thank you. We can't even do that right now. I should have checked this before, but generally there's not all that interesting stuff. Your daughter can marry. Oh, seventh... Oh, look at that info. I'm sorry, I need to... Look at that. Seventh in line. I know how important this lady is. Not a very. <laughs> so we can make a good choice real quick. And we would have the grand... Oh, man, this this is so cool. Uh, she's not important, but important enough. Our daughter and sister-in-law. How did that happen? Uh, let's get you someone that will marry you matrilineally, Lily. Does she... Oh, oh, some claims there. That's good. Let's get you this boy. Just for the claims, really. We can create an aqua... Oh, my lord! All the new stuff. So what have we looked at so far? We have looked at a hunt. We are looking at accolades. We have looked at the stationing thing. That doesn't work because they're out in the field. But we'll come to that eventually. As a <laughs> All right. Okay. Accolades. You can now grant an accolade to... Oh, yes! I always wanted to reward my knights. Each knight that holds an accolade becomes an acclaimed knight. And gives bonuses to you and your armies. The accolade will remain until you destroy it. Or it will pass on to your future knight. Through accolade succession. Yes. Um, Maya Vahan. You are an acclaimed knight of mine. Obviously. Oh. Every acclaimed knight. She has two accolade attributes. Which is blanking here. These attributes are shown for each candidate. Each attribute gives you and your armies various bonuses as the accolade gains glory. Glory is gained by participating in grand tournaments, contests, and battle. Which is good, because we're currently at war. There will be battles, right? Okay, so he will be a scoundrel. Mercenary higher cost. <laughs> Idealist. Uh, vassal opinions mainly. Negotiating white peace generates pre uh, prestige. That's not bad. Fanatic. Piety costs of holy wars is highly reduced. 
I think he's a fanatic. This is a holy war and he, he will be a fanatic. And the second one is pot, no, politicker. I, I read this as pot liquor and I was wondering, what does that mean? So he could be a huntsman, which I think he might be because he's actually really interested in hunting. You and your primary heir gain, may gain the hunter trait every few years. Significantly reduced hunt peril. Yeah, he's a huntsman. I'm not even going to look at the others. That's what he is. And now I create this. It costs me prestige. Create that. The Paragon of Georgia. Let's set a successor. Oh, we don't have one. We could seek... Uh... Seek a worthy successor. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll, we'll spend the prestige. Okay, can I do another one? No. Not now. I can have one. I hope I spent it wisely. Oh, that's so cool. I always wanted that. Uh, I'm sorry. I broke through the tutorial there. The Paragon of Georgia needs a worthy successor. Yes, we're working on that. Uh, children lack guardians. Eighth in line, tenth. I love that. That's such, that's great. That's great information. Our wife can take care of these. Convert culture. Convert faith. No, no, she's not the right culture to convert anyone to. You take care of the children. Um, we can negotiate an alliance with our brother, Count Taniel. And absolutely, we shall do that. My boy. Let's be allies. You look great, by the way. I love that. That's a cool fit. And coming from Age of Wonders 4, actually seeing the characters highlighted in a way where you can tell what they look like is a, is a, is a nice breath of air. Uh, we can potentially negotiate an alliance with our brother-in-law. Uh, but he won't accept this. For now. But we could try something like sway him, maybe. a low chance for that. Okay. We have very few knights. Yes, I'm, I'm aware. Inviting knights. Costs us 150 prestige. We're, we're going there. We're going there. We need, we need the knights. We are at war. You can change your son and heir count Ioannis' contract. I never really got into this. This is an old mechanic that was in from the start and it just never really... <sighs> I could make him protected. I can't I can't revoke his titles. And in in return he's going to provide me more people. But also will guarantee his council rights to and he he's sanctioned to declare wars. So can't do more than 3 changes at once. So we have to lose one of these. Then he gets all this. I don't know if he's going to do good on a council. So. Let's modify this. I don't ever want to do any of the things anyway. So might as well get something out of him, right? Um, Alright. So, okay. So th th that's all there. Let's return to our war. Here comes the tax refund. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for the money. I need it. As you can see, we're hemorrhaging money hard, fighting for our faith here. I'm honored. I would be glad to call you an ally. Are you... Yeah, you are a vassal. So it, it matters only slightly. You gladly accept the marriage proposal. Very good. Worker diligence. Our spouse has motivated some workers. I'm not going to think. Okay, a knight has arrived. Very good. Um, I don't want to give you titles. I don't want to seduce you. But let's make sure you are actually a knight of ours. You are forced. Like... You only came here to be 
my knight. Uh, is that him? I have to recruit him to court still. 115 gold. Excuse me, no thank you. Okay, so we have, we have won this siege here. And I'm thinking we will now go and attack. Okay, what, what does that mean? I can't lock this tooltip for some reason. And why would we get this? They, they have defensive, better commander, higher quality, more men at arms counter. Okay. Alright, fine. I'll go another siege. That's interesting. You rarely get such a stark contrast there. You are a little bit too expensive for me. It's just, why? 150 gold, that's so much. Bye. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. So he is in a in a in a very good defensive position there. The worthy Okay. You are already a knight of ours, yes. Let's get you a woman. Uh, matrilineal, let's get you a niece of ours, why not? This one. Let's get some more knights going. He's obese with a severe health penalty. penalty. Did I not just kick you out? Okay, I kicked him out and he just immediately comes back. Great stuff. All right, we could sit here a little bit, and try and replenish, maybe. I'm still startled by how badly we're going to do in this battle here. Supposedly. Let's try? Okay, he moves away. This is even worse for us to attack into. But now he has to attack us, which he would still get the defensive bonuses, I'm thinking. But we would have all that the war is about under our control. How much do you cost me? 105. You're cheaper. And you're apostolic. Okay. I'll buy you with the church's money. Uh, let's, let's also... Let's get you a spouse... And matrilineal, and it will be another niece of ours, I'm thinking. Just so we get more solid soldiers. And you are definitely a knight. That's all you are. You will be forced to be a knight. And you are also forced, Murad. So attacking into the mountains would obviously be a bad idea. What's your troop composition? Uh, no. I want... Can I, can I select this army? No. Cannot seem to be able to collect. I would have to look at him and look at this. So he's got some Ayar. He's got some Mubarizum. Mubarizum. So two different heavy infantry. One is better at just general fighting, the other is better at rushing. Okay. All right, he's moving out of this, which is nice. Because again, I don't want to fight him in feral terrain. 
But maybe he comes fight us now? Yeah, okay, he comes fight us now. Uh, what's going on? Unexpected visit. Uh, I'm heading for my daughter, Marine's bedchambers with some violet sherba and a deck of cards. Without knocking, I push the door open. She's writing furiously. Uh, well, I will, I will simply respect her privacy. Because I'm leading an army. I don't have time for this stuff. Okay, so this is not good. They become defenders, even though they're attacking us right now, so they get their battle here. Now we're losing. Okay. Um, I have to wait to pull out. But we're losing this one hard. And I, do, I don't... I don't know if I fled. I don't think I did. I just lost the battle and they just went all in. Uh, our... Our Mayor, Mayor Grigor was slain. We could get a new perk. Anything interesting? Peacemaker. Peace acceptance plus 10. That's a good one. For sure. How far are we going back? All the way home. Ah, Lord Almighty. Give me strength. I should have looked at that battle. I can ask for claims. Ah, maybe. Our makeshift dagger has low durability. We'll repair it. We could reforge it into a pedestal item. That's nah, fine. It'll be repaired. So now it's a balanced battle because we are defending on this terrain as that's what we have gotten. So let's see if we, if we fare a little bit better. Plus we're an attacker so that should work in our advantage and so it does. And so it does. And there. That's one. Immediately. So we will enforce our demands. They will have to accept. And we get all that we came to fight for. Let's just give them a moment to accept this. Oh, we also captured someone. Very good. Yeah, he's not happy about it. Let's disband our troops. And pause. Yes, we're about above our domain limit. That's fine. Uh, let's check our air here. And let's grant him some titles, eh? Shall we? He gets... These... There we go. So we just keep one. He can take care of the rest. And we don't need to worry about any of that. Let's get our council going on good stuff. Convert faith. Oh no, I'm so used to clicking right click to confirm from Age of Wonders 4 now. I just, I, I didn't even, I never sent him to convert there. Alright, we want to uh, get control in our new... Newly acquired provinces. So let's have you go do that. And everything else here seems to be quite alright. I'm thinking. Now we can station our troops. Uh, let us let us go. And we want our pike boys. And we station them here. Okay, that gives them... Alright. So they would gain attack and defense. But they mainly need defense. So I would rather send them to the coast. They get to sit... Yeah, they get to live in the, at the coast. That's where we send them. And our archers will station them at home. 
you know, man the walls and everything. So plus 10, plus 2. That's fantastic. And now we station these guys close by in Paranus. And I'm thinking about increasing some sizes here. I think we can afford it. Let's do that. Can't, can we afford this too? Yes. Yes, we can. So we'll do that. Let's improve our men at arm uh, regiment size and power and everything. All right, we captured this man who's a lowborn and he's a good knight. So we will uh, uh, negotiate a release. We want conversion and recruitment. I don't want a hook. I don't. I don't care about the hook. We just need more knights. Farewell and welcome. Let's get you a marriage with our great grand, our great granddaughter. Who is your family? Okay, like this. How old are you? Forty. So by the time she's old enough, that might still work. We'll we'll do that. It's a little bit creepy, but well. Inactive accolades. Paragon of Georgia. Okay. What happened to... There was some info on it that popped up. But why can't he be that anymore? Why is this gone now? Where's that info that popped up? Is it still there? Enemy combatants captured. No. Hmm. You can usurp the Emirate of Dailam. Which we don't have the money for. That's fine. Uh, hmm. Restore. You can use the restore accolades. Restore accolades. The martial dignities of Maretinu lie dormant. Spread word of the knights of the land. The prince of Georgia calls. Where the scions of my time honored stations of honor shall find themselves warmly welcome. Uh, yeah, let's send the herald. That's so weird. I mean, the guy who had it is still there. I don't. Oh, it even says if it's inside or not inside your realm. That's so good. Can we arrange a marriage? Does that help us? I mean, it doesn't really, but... Maybe it helps. Oh, we can't negotiate that alliance anymore. Whoops. Okay. Can we do it can we do it now? Uh, let's sway this man. Well, let's at least try. I think that's a, it's a worthwhile. An acclaimed candidate arrives. So this can be reinstated. Oh, please game, stop. Point. Sumbat. Our knight Sumbat will be that. And we'll give him a woman. She needn't be of high birth or anything. We'll just give him someone. Let's give him... This girl, Nahal. The Paragon of Georgia needs a worthy successor. So, let's find one. We can't do that. It takes a while still to be able to do that again. Excellent. Uh, so much. Ah. Our boy. He has come of age. What are you? A conscientious scribe. <laughs> it's not great. That's not great, my boy. You want a council position? Okay, what are you even good at? Uh, diplomacy, sort of. Count Taniel is a 
is a lot better in that, though. So you'll just have to live without the vassal council position. I'm so sorry. Glad I never granted you a right to that. That would have been terrible for us. Now they can marry, though. Are you... Are you pregnant? Oh, I know. Rem I now remember why I wanted her. All the pressed claims that we get here. Excellent. That's what we want. So what is up with you? I don't want to assume, but you kind of look pregnant. Are you pregnant, lady? So that would mean... I should be able to press some claims here, shouldn't I? No? Can't I? My claims is just that, that's not a lot. Count Tunnel's claims aren't all that much either. Hmm. Well, maybe once they, they've they actually married and all that. I mean, they have married now, but once there's a child of our dynasty with those inherited claims. Armenian principalities. All of that. Like, there's a whole lot for us to take still. The Kingdom of Georgia. An oppressed claim does mean it's inherited. As an unpressed claim, but still something we could push for. Alright. We, we we took a big look at a whole lot of things. Um, so let's leave it at that for today. Thank you very much for joining. We have looked at stationing our troops. What do you think about that? Should we... Would you have put them elsewhere? Where where do you put your troops? What what are your considerations if you have any yet? We have learned to do a hunt. Do you generally take a larger route? Do you take that risk? And are the roads worthwhile, I wonder? We might find out later, but for now, if you got some input on that, absolutely share. So, yeah, see you around next time. Hope you enjoyed. Until then, bye-bye.